January has already given us a lot of trailers. If like me, you have also struggled to keep up with all the trailers, this video is for you. We start off with Giovanni Janeman starring Saif Ali Khan and in the very first few seconds you know that this is going to be a fun trailer. Huh? <laughs> okay, there is another remake of an old popular song but we let that slide for now. As the trailer progresses you see Saf going into his sort of playboy kind of roles that he used to do in the past. Everything is going smoothly, it's a fun ride and all of a sudden this girl turns up. And for a moment I thought, what is he doing? Hi. Is he also going to do the same thing as Akshay Kumar and Shah Rukh Khan have done? Playing hero opposite heroines who are young enough to be their daughters. And this seemed like that, but I should not have worried. There is a twist in the tale and that's what makes it so interesting. It was only recently that I heard Vidya Balan in an interview saying that now more than ever, Bollywood actresses of a certain age are getting a lot more interesting offers than they used to get in the past and Tabu coming into this role is just proof of that. Saif is playing his age, Tabu is opposite him. So a great trailer with some great one-liners. It's very light and peppy and it was just the kind of trailer to start off 2020. So when I saw that the trailer for Love Ajkal 2 is going to come out, I had high expectations. I wasn't too sure about the casting but I thought Love Ajkal was an interesting concept and maybe they are going to reimagine that. I could not have been more wrong. What the hell is going on? Huh? If you had not watched Love Ajkal, the original one, or did not know about the story, this was a very confusing trailer. Chal kya rahe, tumare stupid bloody mind mein? No idea what was going on, what is happening, how the trailer is cut. The name of the movie was a play on how the story was in the present and in the past. And Saif Ali Khan playing this Sadar character was one of the most authentic, uh, unpretentious kind of roles ever played by a Sardar up until then. That was a good movie all around. So it was quite disappointing how this movie has turned out. I think it's just meme material and there was nothing else in it. I could not find even a single thing that was good about this trailer. Nothing that I could like about it. Sample this line. What is he talking about? Is he talking about Zoe or is he talking about... Sara Ali Khan's delivery was also quite stuttering and it just does not work overall. And all these remakes and reimagining of older classics, whether it is songs or movies, it just makes me want to say one thing to Bollywood. In fact, I was so disappointed by this one that I was going to make a video titled The Worst Trailer of 2020 so far. But then something else was suggested. And this is at a completely different level altogether. More than why Himesh has done this movie, I'm curious to find out who is financing these movies. I mean, who in their right minds is putting money into these projects? I would like to know. Himesh Reshamiya and this Sadar character does not work at all. It is bordering on the offensive and there is nothing at all in this trailer that would make you want to go and watch this movie. I don't know why he's still doing it. I think it's about time Himesh gave up starring in movies and does what he did best. He is still good at making music. I think he should stick to it and all the flops so far should have proved that to him. Maybe he will never learn his lessons but spare us please. So after two really disappointing trailers, I was not feeling very positive but I had seen some artwork and promotions for Hacked. I thought at least it will be an interesting concept, a new kind of story that will be explored. But in the very beginning of the trailer, all hopes were dashed. You tell me which modern screens or TVs switch on like this. And that's when I knew right in the beginning that this is going to be a poor trailer. And I wasn't proved wrong. It's just so easy for this guy to hack into anything. He's like the god of hacking. Not only is he a super hacker, but he's probably also Spider-Man, the way he's climbing the buildings. If I had known that this is a Vikram Bhatt movie, that would have tempered my expectations anyway because I've decided. I will use you. Like most of his other movies, this is going to be just a sleaze fest. The concept and issue of hacking is just another pretext for what he usually does. Nothing new in this movie and I don't have any more expectations from this one after watching the trailer. But everything is not so bad. And you can always rely on Aishwan Khurana to bring in something fresh, something new. 
So while Saif Ali Khan and Jawani Janeman only talks about it, no, ma, I'm not gay. अगर होता भी तो क्या प्रॉब्लम है? Ayushman actually lives it through his character. ये नहीं कहते, gay कहते. As per me, Article 15 was the best movie of 2019, and Ayushman is continuing in that vein. And I think he has a knack for picking up taboo subjects. What did he do? Difficult to talk about subjects, but he does it with such ease, with some humor. कर पाएगा टास्क. बनेगा रोडी. With a dose of reality, the issues that are there, he has done that really well right from the beginning of his career, and this is yet another example of those. It will be an enjoyable movie to watch, but just like Badai Ho, Dam Laga Ke Hai Sha, Shubh Mangal Sadan, this will be a movie with a soul, with a message. Probably all the bad trailers that I've seen had something to do with it, but this trailer was really the best of the bunch. Who is in your gang? Mekya? And while I've only spoken about Bollywood trailers. Something from Kannada industry that also caught my eye, and this was recommended to me was Popcorn Monkey Tiger. Visually, this was a stunning teaser. There wasn't a lot that I could get from it, but just the angles and just the look of the whole teaser was very appealing. If you have not seen it, don't miss it. I will put the link in the description. Let me know any other significant trailers that I've missed, good or bad. Give me the link. Let me know what you thought about those. Write it all down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family. Until next time bye bye